<sighs> Guys, ugh, you know, sometimes you just have that thing you have to tell someone and it makes you feel all gross and cringy and ugh, gives you the heebie-jeebies, but unfortunately, I, I, I can't hold this anymore. I just, I just can't. You guys, you just suck at buying tickets. Today, I want to talk about that thing where it's just, you know, sometimes you just, you, you're not quite there yet. And so I, I feel like it's my duty, my duty to tell you how come you guys just can't buy your tickets because unfortunately you just, you, you don't have the skills. You know, I'm just hoping at the end of this that you, you'll, you'll understand that I, I, I had to, I, I just had to, I had to tell you this because if I didn't, you're just going to keep going at that same pace and it, it, it'll, it'll drive me crazy. And so with that being said, here are the five reasons you guys suck at buying tickets. Let's go. So number one, the basic reason why you just suck at buying tickets is because you don't know when they're actually happening. You don't know when they're gonna go on sale. You don't know when the pre-sale is. You don't know when the general sale is. You don't even know that the tour was announced. If you don't know when the event is gonna go on sale, how can you possibly be that person who's gonna go buy those great, great seats if you don't know when it's happening. So even just yesterday at work, we received an email you know, blasted out to everybody in the office saying, hey, Pearl Jam is coming to Ottawa. Get all excited. Here's all the details on getting tickets. And then you take a look and read the email and it says, oh, by the way, sign up for the Ticketmaster Verified Fan presale deadline January 15th? Huh? What? Huh? And then you look on the day and then you realize that today is January 17th. And yesterday when they sent the email, it was January 16th. And like, uh, what do you mean? Like you, you've just lost out on the ability to actually buy tickets for that event. What actually happened is, you know, earlier this week on Monday, Pearl Jam actually announced that the tour was happening and you had all those three days, basically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to sign up for the verified fan presale, make sure that you actually had a chance to get into that presale to get those tickets. But if you didn't know that that first blast came out on the Monday and you only got the email from work on the Thursday, basically you just missed out on any chance of possibly getting any presale tickets. So with that, it's just, you gotta make sure, you need to make sure you know when tickets are going on sale. So how do you do that? Go to the artist's website, sign up for their newsletter, sign up to be part of their fan club, very simply, just to make sure that you're always in the know of what's going on sale from that artist. Another way is to actually just sign up for a Google alert so you can just sign up for whether it's Pearl Jam or Green Day or whoever it is you wanna follow. Just put a quick alert in, you know, every day you'll get a blast. You can even set like how often these alerts come to you. You can go ahead, sign up for that gets you all that information so you never need to worry about, you know, potentially missing something. Yes, they could be your favorite band in the world, but if you don't know when they're gonna go on sale, are you really the greatest fan in the world? Questions, things to think about, huh? Yeah, last simple way to find out when things are going on sale, a few different websites like Concert Fix and a few others, or you can just jump in on social media and follow you know, your favorite artists, bands, teams, things like that. Go ahead, get all the information that way. Make sure that you don't miss out when tickets are going on sale. The next reason why you guys suck at buying tickets because you're not smashing that like button. Number two, not having a presale code. Great, you know when tickets are going on sale, but now you wanna sign up for all these different pre-sales and you don't know where they are, you don't know how to do it, you don't know where to find that magic set of digits and numbers and letters that are gonna get you into that pre-sale. Pre-sales, that's where all the gold is, that's where the great seats are, that's where all the fun starts to happen. And if you don't have a pre-sale code, you ain't having no fun, buddy. Not, not, uh no fun for you. No soup for you. Yeah, any of you watch Seinfeld? Love it. So. Not having a pre-sale code, pretty self-explanatory. If you don't have one, you can't get on that pre-sale. So what do you do? You have to make sure you find out where to get them. There's a bunch of different ways. I'm just gonna go over a couple. One, social media, a lot of times, you know, whether it be on Facebook or uh, Twitter or any of those other random social media kind of places, they are generally having lots of different pre-sale codes. You know, very easy to find. Usually they're free, just to make sure you go ahead and find them. Spotify, another great avenue to actually get pre-sale codes. If you listen to that artist on Spotify and they end up having a tour, a lot of times they'll actually send you a specific Spotify pre-sale code that you can go ahead, jump in on that pre-sale, buy those tickets, have all the fun. Another way, you know, all you have to do, join a fan club. If you have, they have a fan club, you can jump in on it. Sometimes it's as simple as just signing up for a newsletter. Other times it's actually behind a paywall. So some of them you actually pay, you know, 20, 30, 50 bucks. It can, it, it adds up. Sometimes it's a bit expensive, but is it still cheaper than buying it on the resale market? Potentially. So take a look, might be an option for you, if not, Ticketmaster generally has their own pre-sale codes that go out on Thursdays. So whether it's through Live Nation or the Ticketmaster app, or they have a few different ones. So those all, all exist. Getting a pre-sale code, key to making sure that you stop sucking at buying tickets. 
All right, number three, number three, number three. What's the third one? Very similar to number two with pre-sale codes. You just don't have the right credit card. Credit cards, they're a big, big way of actually making sure you get the right pre-sales because a lot of times they're tied behind the credit card purchase process. So, for example, the most common one that I can think of Amex. Amex has the front of the line pre-sales that go off for many, many events. Specifically in Canada, you'll see it all the time. Uh, in the US, you'll get a mix of Amex and City and some Capital One and every now and then there'll be a MasterCard one with the Dodgers. All of these pre-sale codes, they're all tied directly to the credit card that you're actually using to buy those tickets. So if you don't have the right credit card, you can't jump in on that pre-sale code. In the past, Amex used to have this way of signing up to get you know, a temporary Amex pre-sale code without having the actual Amex card, but they've since disbanded and cut that out completely, so no longer possible. So the only way to jump in on that Amex pre-sale is by having an Amex card. So go ahead, take a look, see what kind of credit card options are out there for you. If you can find a free one, all the better. If it costs a bit of money, you have to think about it. It doesn't make sense to pay that annual fee just to have the opportunity to join those pre-sales. These things, got to think about it, but if you don't have the right credit card, you can't jump in on the pre-sale. All right, hmm, moving along well here. So number four, number four, 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 not having a plan, not knowing what to buy. You just, you know, you get into the waiting room, you get through, you get on the ticket buying page, see all the options, all the map, everything is out in front of your eyes. And then you just don't know what to buy. You talk to your friends saying, hey, I just got through. I want to buy these tickets. Are you in? Are you out? How much do you want to pay? Where do you want to sit? And then, you know, all this chatting and talking and doing all this planning, once you're already in the page to buy tickets, at that point, by the time you figure it all out, everything's gone. Sorry. Sorry about it. Everything is gone. Nothing left. If you don't have a plan, if you don't know what you're doing, if you just aren't sure, if you haven't figured out what you're going to buy before you actually go into the ticket buying process, you've already lost. Things move fast a lot of times, especially with very popular events. If you aren't sure what you're gonna buy beforehand, unfortunately, you're gonna get into that waiting room, you're gonna get through to the ticket buying page, you're gonna see all these options, you're just gonna start clicking around, not quite sure what to do. Next thing you know, everything's gone, you're out of seats, out of selections, out of options, and you have lost yet again. Where's the fun in that? So make sure that you actually have a plan before you go ahead and buy those tickets. Talk to everyone you need to talk to. Make sure you know how much you want to spend. Have an idea of where you want to sit. And then once you get through and you see the options there for you, go ahead, buy them right away. Don't wait a second. Make sure you get the tickets you need because if you don't, someone else will. And lastly, number five. The last reason why you suck at buying tickets is because you just don't practice enough. You're competing against bots, for one, which, I mean, they're, they're working on moving those out of the way, but... Other than that, you're competing against other ticket brokers who are doing this every single day. Do I need to repeat that? They are buying tickets every single day. They know how Ticketmaster works. They know how the waiting room works. They know how pre-sale codes work. They have the right credit cards. They have all these things set up for them. When they go in to buy an event, they know exactly what they're looking for. They are perfectly planned. And then on top of that, they know how to click very fast. They know how to search for things properly. They know how to find things they want. They know how to filter things. They know how to do everything on Ticketmaster better than you. What does that mean? They already have a leg up on you. You you are falling farther and further behind every single day you're not buying tickets. Now, with that being said, that doesn't mean you should go ahead and start buying tickets every single day and you know become a super ticket broker master. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is that you just need to make sure that you're staying familiar with what's actually happening with Ticketmaster, with these other you know box office websites. You gotta make sure you know what's happening. So even a couple of years ago when they changed over to the waiting room process, that was a big change for a lot of people. You know, before you had to go through the capture process, you had to refresh that page really fast, make sure you had the right time zones and everything set properly. And now they you know, moved to the waiting room process. It was a change for a lot of people. They didn't really know how it worked, what it did, you know, what, what worked best, what didn't work best, all these different things. These were all things that people had to learn throughout time. If you're just jumping in to buy a ticket once every couple of years, you know, you're not going to be aware of all these different changes and these things are going to slow you down. Or even if you are buying tickets, you know, once every couple of months, yes, you have an idea of what's happening, but you might potentially not be well versed in what's, you know, how the, all the different intricacies and small things, slight things that you have to be aware of when trying to buy these tickets. So if you aren't keeping on top of these things, it's just going to 
keep you further and further behind the ticket brokers who are actually trying to buy those tickets. Myself, personally, I used to play a lot of StarCraft, and with StarCraft, one of the things I had to do was actually practice my clicking. You know, moving my mouse around, making sure I could highlight things properly, making sure I always clicked in the right spots, being very, very skilled in actually, you know, moving that mouse around. I actually found websites that helped me practice my clicking abilities. So I would, you know, they would show up in random dots that you'd have to click on, boxes you'd have to circle. I don't know if that makes sense. I was practicing my mouse skills constantly. Even with just Ticketmaster ticket pages, if I want to get better, I wouldn't go ahead and start buying thousands and thousands of tickets. What I would do is I'd find an event that was gonna go on sale, whether I wanted to buy tickets for it or not, it didn't matter. I would just go through the process and practice. I would practice refreshing right away at 10 o'clock when things went on sale. I'd practice typing in those capture codes. I'd, you know, I'd see so many capture codes that I would just, once I saw what it looked like, I knew exactly what it was without even having to read it. I could just do all this because I was practicing all the time. Practice makes perfect, and in this case, it is no different. If you're not practicing how to buy these tickets, if you're not staying informed on how to buy tickets, if you aren't sure what changes are coming with buying tickets, you're falling further and further behind, and that's just gonna make sure that you don't get those great seats. Now, with all this doom and gloom, obviously, it, 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 can, it can feel overwhelming. I understand that I'm laying a lot on you. I'm very sorry, but it, it needed to be said. I, I, it hurts me, it pains me how much you guys are just not good enough to buy those tickets. With that being said though, there are ways to get better. One, obviously, practice. Practice, practice, practice. That's that's the easiest way to do it. And by, you know, just taking these five different things that I was just talking about, you can work on each of them one at a time and you'll, you know, you'll see the results. You know, once you find out when tickets are on sale, you it gives you an idea, okay, now I can plan. Once you start planning, then it's like, okay, what pre-sales are there? Find out what pre-sales are, find out what the credit card pre-sales are, find out what time things are going on, and then, once you put all of it together, you'll become an expert. It, 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 I guarantee it. Guarantee, 100%. There's no money back guarantee though, because you're not paying me anything. I should look into that. Anyway, these are the reasons why you're not buying tickets, so make sure that you address each of them one at a time, get better at it, and then let me know how amazing you guys become at buying those tickets. Leave a lot of comments below. I wanna hear all about your experiences. Tell me if I hit any strings, you know, made you feel something. Let me know how you felt after all of this. I wanna make sure you guys are buying the best tickets possible. So with that, make sure that you subscribe because I'm going over all these different things, everything I just talked about and more, you'll learn all about it on this channel. Great, great tips you're gonna learn to make sure that you become the best ticket buyers out there. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.